New Year or any time of year, artists regularly reinvent themselves and from his base at Victoria Yards Joburg to exhibitions in the UK, US and Europe, this one is a master at it. Hi, I'm James Delaney. Welcome to my studio. Come on in. I've been painting and drawing since I was a little kid and I loved working with colour, with paint, always loved the texture of it and I found I was quite good at it and so I just carried on all the way through school, through varsity and as I started doing other work I realised I had to go back to art, it was so much in my being and for the last 20 years or so I've been working as a professional artist. I work across various different types of medium. So if you look on the wall behind here, you can see some of the paintings. I paint with quite a thick impasto style technique. So when you look at the canvas from the side, you see a lot of texture in it. And I like painting with trees and plants and things. So I work on this series, but then I'll move across into sculpture. And here you can see some of the sculptural pieces, they're either in stainless steel, copper, or mild steel. They are laser cut by a machine based on my drawings. So I do the drawings in charcoal on paper, and then I refine them until they're strong enough that the whole image will hold together. These are the outdoor sculptures. They're much heavier steel, and they're powder coated to protect them from the weather, and they go into the ground. Here's an eagle I've made recently. This has been cut from stainless steel, so it catches the light where it stands. So you see a theme running through a lot of this stuff here. You've got trees and nature, you've got animals and birds. I'm a big campaigner and activist for green spaces, and I've spent a lot of years working, fixing up parks in Joburg, particularly a big one called The Wilds. And I've become aware of how important it is for people to connect with nature. One of James's resolutions this January is a return to his rewilding of this 40-acre downtown park with a more social media savvy approach. I started fixing up the wilds about eight years ago and I worked for a couple of years with volunteers and we couldn't get anybody to come back to the wilds because it was a park that had been abandoned by the people of Joburg and they were scared of it. So I needed to make something which would catch their attention, would be easily shareable on social media, by taking good photos. And I was also thinking about what the city used to be. 120 years ago, there was no city here. And so there were animals roaming around. So I came up with the idea of reintroducing the animals, bringing the animals back into the urban environment. And so I chose animals that used to live here in Joburg two centuries ago. And then I came up with the idea of doing cutouts based on charcoal drawings, cutting them out of metal, and then choosing bright popping colors. If he was a writer, James might write plays instead of novels, as his creative process is closer to an open dialogue. As an artist, you can work in a solitary way, and painting tends to be quite solitary. I enjoy more working with other people and collaborating, and printmaking, whether it's lithography or the digital prints or liner cuts or woodblock or whatever printmaking process, the sculptures as well, they involve other people. So it's me in conversation with them. And together we get a much better result than if I was working just on my own. On this wall I've got some of the collaborative printmaking projects I'm working on. On the right hand side is a project with Arthur Dlamini, who's a photographer, and it's a series of body prints. These ones are printed by putting paint onto a naked body then lowering the body onto the paper and then lifting the body off again and then we're left with these images. And then after we've done that, the person has the residue of paint on their bodies and we take photographs. We've done about 25 or 30 subjects so far, but we're growing it even further. So we can do a big exhibition celebrating the human body in a kind of realistic and honest way. Printmaking for me is a really interesting set of techniques because there are so many different types. 
These are digital prints. They are photographs that I've taken walking on the streets of different cities. Here's New York, there's Paris, here's Joburg. And I'm photographing people walking past doorways and buildings. This is New York. There's an old guy sitting in the middle here. His name is Robert Frank. When I was walking along the street one day, I saw this old guy and it just looked interesting. And I took his photograph without him noticing. And afterwards I found out he was the most famous photographer in the world and I'd caught his image. He died shortly afterwards. So I took that image along with other photographs I'd taken over the years walking in the streets of New York of these graffiti covered doorways and I stitched them together into a single image. Preferring mediums which need the skill of others makes for a more social work day too. Here we are at DGI Studios, which is a collaborative printmaking space, and I'm working here with Nathaniel on a series of elephant liner cuts. So this is the printing press here, and we're going to put the plate down. Perfect. There. And then Nathaniel's going to put the paper down, and then we'll roll it through the press. So you can see how the ink is transferred from the carved liner onto the paper here. We're place. doing a series in different colors. So we've got a chocolate brown version, a black version, and some green ones. And each of these is two colors. So you see there's a, let's use this one as an example. There's a light green underneath, and there's a dark green on top. So each one requires going through the press twice. Printmaking is a collaboration between artist and printmaker. And as an artist, I'm free to make the drawings and come up with the concepts but I need to work with someone like Nathaniel who can make sure that everything is correctly aligned and registered and the inks are mixed properly and the paper is clean and the studio is neat. Otherwise, we'd never be able to produce and the work that every that single print is exactly the same and that there's no difference unless the artist wants it. So, you know, as far as that goes, this project has been very successful from the beginning. We're very happy with the outcome of everything. And I think most importantly, James needs to be happy as the artist. I'm happy. <laughs> a departure from his more hand-created work, James entrusts his digital prints to Le Shoka Joe. Joe's studio does lithography on the machine behind here. And Joe and I have collaborated for 10 years, 15 years, long time. 15 years, I think, And yeah. more recently, we started doing digital prints together. We used that to sort of... These doors, I took the photographs in Stone Town in Zanzibar a few months ago. So I've done doorway series in New York, Paris, Joburg, and this is the first time doing them in such an ancient city with narrow passageways. It was quite a challenge to take the photographs. And I've used a combination of two different doorways that alternates between light and dark. Yeah, it's, it, it, is beautiful. it was great when he chose me to do his uh, photographs like I normally do with his um, fine art prints. So, I mean, they're both fine art prints, but one it's not hand done. So there is a bit of difference, but you know, the ends are almost outstanding. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed meeting some of the people I collaborate with and seeing the different spaces that I work in. And thank you for visiting my studio. To the artists out there still to make their mark, improvise, collaborate, diversify, and may this be your breakthrough year. Get more of the Insider Essay online. Follow, connect, engage, and be inspired to live better with the Insider Essay. Watch the show Monday evenings at 5.30. Repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.